everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all well. Today, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be showing you guys some eyeliner do's and don'ts. I think everyone here who wears eyeliner is going to know the struggle of getting one eye perfectly done and the other one, oh god, that's another story. You try your hardest to match the two eyes and you keep trying to build up the line and you end up making it so much thicker and at that point there's just no going back and you end up looking like a raccoon. Also, pro tip, don't let your boyfriend do your eyeliner. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So before we jump straight in, of course makeup has no rules, you do whatever makes you happy. I'm only sharing these tricks with you guys because they work for me. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel as well as my vlog channel if you're not subscribed already. And I'll also post a link down below of the previous Do's and Don'ts video that I did using eyeshadows. But without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. So my first don't is taking too much eyeliner on your applicator and applying it all at once. This can make your application a little bit messy, it's really hard to tone it down and clean it up. So my eyeliner do is definitely taking your time when you're creating your liner. If you're using a gel liner make sure to take off any excess product from your applicator brush and slowly build up on the line using very short strokes. This will just avoid your liner getting too thick too quickly and you're going to be in so much more control on how your liner takes shape. Now this next do's and don'ts are specifically for hooded eyes. Having hooded eyes means that this part of your eyelid naturally droops over your moving part of your eyelid when your eyes are relaxed. There's different levels of hooded eyes. Mine are very slightly hooded, so it just means that when I relax my eyes, you can see that this section of the skin very slightly droops over the edge of my lid. So my eyeliner don't for people with hooded eyes is creating a really thick liner, especially winged liner. So what tends to happen is when you create a winged liner, it can become distorted because of the way the lid folds. So although it may look amazing when your eyelid is closed, as soon as you open your eye and look forward, it might look a little bit weird and not so flattering. So my eyeliner do for people with hooded eyes is to keep the liner very thin, especially around this middle section of your upper lash line. And also avoiding wing liner is definitely a good way to avoid falling into this trap of distorted liner. And if you do have hooded eyes and you still really love the wing liner look, try and keep your liner as short as possible. Really try avoiding applying any eyeliner anywhere near the crease because as soon as it touches the crease, that is where it's going to distort. My next liner don't is creating a really, really long liner. I know sometimes we get carried away with it and we want it to be as sharp as a knife, but sometimes I see people who apply their liner so long that if you carried it on just a centimeter longer, it could probably touch the end of your eyebrow. And this is just my opinion, but I don't think that's really flattering at all. So when you are going for that eyeliner on fleek look, then try and keep your liner a moderate length. I think it just looks much more beautiful and subtle. My next eyeliner don't is pulling on your skin whilst applying your eyeliner. Not only does this stretch out your skin and create wrinkles, but it also makes your eyeliner application not accurate because as soon as you let go of your skin, it's going to look completely different. So instead of pulling your eye, what you want to do is keep looking into your mirror at eye level and keep opening your eye to see how your liner looks while your eyes are open. Especially if you have hooded eyes, it's no use tilting your head or even closing your eye whilst applying eyeliner because once you open your eye, it could look completely different. The next eyeliner don't is having your liner at a really sharp angle from your lash line. Although some people like having a very angled liner, it can give your eyes a really retro feel. However, for most people, it can look a little strange. So if you want your liner to look much more well put together and like it belongs, then try having your wing liner positioned at the natural angle of your lower lash line. So all your eyeliner should do is just basically link on and carry on that line from your lower lash line at the same angle. My next don't is applying liner through the crease. If your liner touches the crease, it will give you that strange kink in your liner and it won't look as smooth as you'd like it to be. So of course my eyeliner do is to avoid touching the crease altogether and this will just ensure that when you're looking straight, your liner will have a really nice smooth and consistent line. And the last eyeliner don't is pulling your eyeliner really close to the inner corner as well as having the liner quite thick if you have small eyes or you have small lid space. What this can do is close up your eye even further and the eyeliner do is trying to keep your liner on the outer third of your eye without pulling it into the inner corner. This is a style of liner that I personally like to do on a daily basis because I feel like it leaves your eye appearing quite open as opposed to making it appear more closed. So as you can see I feel like this eye looks much better than this one. It just looks much more fresh. This is of course the classic style winged liner. It's a full blown wing which starts in the corner of your eye and for someone with my eye shape I feel like it's not too flattering. It really brings attention to how small your lid space is because there's a really strong and thick liner going throughout the whole of the lash line. So remember that your wing liner is there to complement your shadow rather than hiding it especially if you have a small lid space like me. 
So that is all for my eyeliner do's and don'ts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, then definitely don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel as well as my vlog channel if you're not subscribed already. And if you want to follow me on any of my social media, my Twitter, Instagram and Snapchat are all Roxora's same way it's out here. I'll also pop the link down below to my previous do's and don'ts video so you guys can check that out. And that is all from me. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I hope you guys are slaying your wind liner now. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!